I'm Siobhan Leachman. I'm a New Zealand Wikimedian, that is I edit Wikipedia, Wikicommons, Wikidata, and I'm here to talk about open culture. I think the main benefit of open culture is the improvement it brings to people's lives. Open culture gifts joy through enabling exposure to cultural artifacts. It encourages people to gain or deepen their knowledge and has a part to play in ensuring the further creation of culture. Everyone stands on the shoulders of those who've gone before and enabling reuse of cultural artifacts enables the creation of culture. As regards the barriers to open culture, I believe creativecommons.org has put it best. I think there are three main barriers. Money, institutions lack resources, and fear losing revenue. People, the people in charge of the decisions um, lack appropriate knowledge and skills about openness and are also risk averse. And policy. Most countries have a complex and outdated copyright system, and often there's an absence of positive policy frameworks to enable openness. For me personally, my access to open culture is limited mainly as a result of copyright, both in New Zealand and in other jurisdictions around the world. I believe the copyright term is too long, copyright law is too complex, and creative policy makers and the public are ignorant about copyright and how to work out when it actually ends. And although New Zealand does have government policies that encourage openness, at least in the government context, they don't go far enough, nor are these policies easy for implementers to understand. So I'm going to share something um, that someone told me or opened my eyes about culture. In 2015, I read a blog by Adrian Kingston on the Tapapa website. Tapapa is New Zealand's national museum. This blog was written about 10 months after Te Papa started uh, releasing high resolution images of collection items. They're openly available for download, whether copyright or cultural um, rights allowed. The most impactful information in this blog, for me personally, was the list of reasons why people decided to download those images. The breadth and range of reuse was stunning and it affirmed my heartfelt belief in open culture. So my personal message to those who are hesitating about opening up collections, just do it. There are numerous people and organisations who want to actively engage with collections, who want to gain knowledge and build upon that knowledge, who want to create with those collections. By adding to open culture, you'll assist with the creation of culture. That's the carrot. The stick is, if you don't, I firmly believe your institution will be in danger of becoming obsolete. We live in a digital world where more and more institutions are opening up their collections, allowing open reuse. You can't beat them, so please join them. <laughs> 